Hello, today we're going to do bonus unit week two, day four. That means next time we meet, it will be time for your bonus unit, unit test. So let's make sure we do a really good job today practicing and reviewing things. Repeat after me for our drill sounds warm up. A, Alaska, a. Uh. E, ed, eh. E, Pete, e. E, me, e. I, pine, I. I, hi, I. I, animal, a uh, or e. Eh. I, champion, e. You, mule, you. You, rule, oo. You pupil, you. You flu, ooh. Why cry I? Why baby E? Excellent. Okay, now let's go ahead and listen to our new concept for today. Hi, boys and girls. Here we are for our bonus unit, a new concept again today. We're in week two, and this is day four of the new concept that we'll be going over. Remember, we've been talking about root words and prefixes and uh, the meaning of those root words. So we're going to continue looking at those today. And in my stack of cards here, look at all these cards that we've done for prefixes and roots. I'm going to show you the card, ask you to read it, and we're going to decide if it's a prefix or a root word, okay? This one, M, is a prefix. Good job. And one little hint is it has this line right after it, right? In is a prefix. Con, prefix. N, prefix. Dis is a prefix. Scrib is a root. Min, that's a root. Speck, that is a root. Cyst, that is a root. X, that's one of our closed syllable prefixes. Tract, that's one of our root words. Sub, that is a prefix. Non, prefix. Dict, that's one of our Latin roots. Struct, that's a Latin root. Ject, a Latin root. And remember these lines remind us that usually there's something in front of it, either a prefix or a suffix following it. It can't stand alone. Fract, another root. Lect, one of our root words. Re, one of our open syllable prefixes. Pro, one of our open syllable prefixes. E, another open syllable, prefix. D, prefix. Pre, prefix. Trans, prefix. Junct is one of our roots. Ill, a prefix. Miss, one of our prefixes. Un, prefix. And fect, a Latin root, one more, duct, a Latin root as well. Good job. So we have a lot of, of prefixes and Latin roots. There's more of all of these, but these are some of the most common in our English language. So let's take a look here, just to remind us. Here I have one of our Latin roots. What does this here say? Duct, good job. And if I put con in front, that's one of our prefixes. We have conduct. 
And if we look and remember what those things mean, we know that duct means to lead and con means with. So to lead again, to lead with. Um, conduct means you're in charge. You are the one guiding what's happening there when you conduct something. All right, so let's think about suffixes. We could add ing to this. And so if we read the base word would be conduct and the whole word conducting. Remember, ing means it's happening right now. Conducting, you're conducting uh, the show. That means you're in charge, you're guiding, you're leading, it's happening right now. We could also add an ed to this. Base word, conduct, whole word, conducted. So that ed on the end, that suffix, that means it already happened. I conducted that show yesterday or I conducted the inspection of the house yesterday. Okay, that means I let it, I guided through that, but I did it already, it happened in the past. And sometimes S could go on there as well. Conduct, conducts. All right, so those are some of the suffixes that could get added on. Now, one thing I wanna show you today is that a lot of these uh, Latin roots that we see here end with a very tricky blend. What do you think that tricky blend is? And you see it at the end of this duct right here. It's the CT, that's right. That CT is on a lot of our rat Latin roots. So let's go ahead and read some of these. Fract, ject, struct, dict, duct, fect, junct, lect, and tract. So you'll notice they all have CT. When we hear that kt on the end, that's gonna always be the CT, not a KT. So it's always gonna be spelled with a CT. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna cover these up and move our word up here. And I want you to uh, listen to one of the Latin roots that I'm gonna give you. And I want you to repeat it, tap it, and then we're gonna spell it with the cards up here. We're gonna do a few like that. Let's try tract. Repeat, tract. Let's tap it. T -r -a -k -t. All right, so let's think. E. And kt. we're going to spell it with C and another T. T R A C T. That's one of our Latin roots. And if we look over here, tract means to drag. Think about tractor. It could be a root from that tractor. Good. Let's try another one. Ject. Ject. Repeat. Tap it. J. E. K. T. All right. I hear that K -t on the end. Ject. We need J. J. E. And what do we need for that ending? We need a C, T, ject, ject. We know words like reject, ject means, and where is it here? To throw, remember? Project, reject, and we spell it with CT on the end. Let's spell it together, J-E-C-T. Good job, all right. Let's try one more. Struct, struct, like in construct, destruct. Let's tap it. Struct, S -t -r -a -k -t. S-T, we need that tricky three letter blend. Uh, and we hear so we're going to spell that with C, and I need one more T here. Struct. That's a long root, isn't it? S-T-R-U-C-T. Remember, struct means to build. We talked about construct, destruct. So just be careful with those blends at the end. Remember, when you hear that ending, that tricky blend,
it's going to be spelled with a CT. Okay, that's it for our bonus unit and the new concepts. So I hope you'll be practicing some of those Latin roots and prefixes and words. Thank you. Okay, next up here, I want you to look and see. I have posted or taped to the board five of our Latin roots. Okay, so I'm going to touch one and you're going to pronounce it for me. Ready? Go. Scrib. Good. This one? Struct. Good. How about this? Ject. Good. Fract. Good. And lect. Now that's interesting because four fifths, so four out of five of the words end with that blend that she was just discussing in that video, right? All right. What we're going to do is I'm going to have you write down the Latin root that I'm describing. So I'm going to give you a hint and then you will write it down. Write down the Latin root that means break. Which one of those do you think means break? Now, I'm hoping that you're starting to remember some of these, but if you don't, use your tool, page 42 and 43 in your student notebook to reference. Do you remember? Fract means break. Think of the word fracture. If you fracture a bone, you break it. Okay, good. Think of fracture. How about this clue? Which word means throw? Throw. You have four choices left. Throw. Jacked, right. And I, I said um, before, instead of just memorizing jacked, throw, jacked, throw, it's so helpful to associate this root with an actual word that you're familiar with. So you've heard of the word eject. If you are in basketball and you get a technical foul, you get ejected from the game. You get thrown out, okay? How about which root means right? W-R-I-G, W-R-I-T-E, that right. Which one? You have lect, you have struct, you have scrib. Right, scrib means to write. And think about how kids write when they're younger. They do what? Scribble, right. Think of that word. To help you remember, it has to do with writing. All right, next one. Which one means to build? Which one has something to do with building? Lect or struct? Right, struct. Think of construction workers. They build things for a living. And last but not least, this one's going to be easy. I could ask you, do you know what lect means? Think about the word select or elect. You choose something. All right. Nice practice with those. Okay, the last thing we're going to do today is dictation, dry, erase to get ready for our unit test coming up. So get out your whiteboards, markers, and erasers. If you're at home, just grab some scratch paper and a pencil to practice. It's a very important practice day. All right. You need, might need to pause until you have all your materials ready, but let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is dictate to you three prefixes. So since you have, if you're using your slate, you have three boxes, let's put a prefix in each one of those boxes. You're just going to spell them. The first one is trans. Say it, trans. Go ahead and spell that one first. Tap it if you must. T 
r an s. You hear a glued sound in there. And then if you do happen to have your student notebook with you, you can always use page 42 and 43 to check. All right, let's reveal. Spell it with me, please. Trans, go. T-R-A-N-S, trans. Awesome. Try this one. Dis, say it. Dis, spell it. That one should be easy. Er, a little easier. All right, let's reveal already. Pause if you need more time, but I'm ready to roll. Let's go. Dis, spell it with me. Go. D I S. Dis. Very good. And the last one. Pro. Say it. Pro. Let's reveal. Spell it. P R O. Pro. Very good. There will be a section on tomorrow or whenever you take the bonus unit unit test, there will be a section where you have to write down and spell some prefixes and some root words. So let's go ahead to those Latin roots next. And I'm going to give you six of them. So I would number one through six. If you're using your slate, I would probably organize yourself like this so we can maximize our space on our slate. And Latin root number one, can you write and spell the, I don't wanna say word, they're not words, they're roots. Spell the Latin root ject, ject. All right, let's reveal, how'd you spell it? J-E, what's that blend? C-T, right, she went over that today. Try this one. Number two, struct. You just practice with that one. Str, three letter blend, struct. All right, let's reveal. Spell it with me, S-T-R-U-C-T. Huh, that one also has that kt blend at the end. We'll see how many out of six will come up with a fraction. All right, number three, try scrib. We just did scrib means has to do with writing. Scrib. This one also has that three letter blend at the beginning. Those can be tricky. All right, let's see. Spell it with me. Scrib, go. S-C-R-I-B. Good. Try this one. Fract. We just practiced this one too. Fract. You break. Think of fraction. It's when you have a hole and you break it into parts. Or fracture. You break your bone. Fract. All right, let's spell it. Go. F R A C T. There's another one. Oh boy. The fifth one. Let's do dict, like you predict something. Dict means to say it, or right now I am dictating roots for you to spell. I am saying, I am telling you. That has that blend too. Let's spell it. D-I-C-T, excellent. And the last Latin root to practice today, hmm, try this one. Cyst. Say it. Cyst. We haven't practiced that one as much. Not as familiar with cyst. But that's a closed one. Oh, yes. To make firm. Insist. If I insist that you do something, I'm very firm about it. All right. Let's spell it. Go. S-I-S-T. Excellent. All right. Erase those six Latin roots real quick. And then the next section is super important. We are going to do a few words to spell and to mark up to practice for our unit test. So I would suggest just doing one word at a time, spelling it on a line, and marking it up. 
The first one is disrupt. Say it. Disrupt. Go ahead and spell it first. Dis, you know that prefix, rupt. If you disrupt somebody, you are distracting them. Disrupt. Okay, let's reveal your spelling first. Can you spell dis with me? Go. D I S. And let's spell rupt. That must be a Latin root, isn't it? It is. I don't think that's one that we have had necessarily. Let me check. We've had a lot of Latin roots, but I don't know if rupt is one of them that we've learned. No, not in third grade, but that is one. Think of erupt, interrupt. Okay, so disrupt. Can we spell rupt? R-U-P-T. Good. And let's mark these two. Dis is what kind of syllable? It's a closed syllable prefix. And rupt is? also closed with that p -t blend at the end. Good job. Erase disrupt and get ready for your second word to spell and mark, which is hmm, locate. Locate. I can't seem to locate my keys. Locate. Locate. Pause if you need time. All right, let's spell it together. Low, spell it. L-O and Kate, spell it. C-A-T-E. So low is what kind of syllable? Go. It's open. That vowel is not closed in in that syllable part, so it's long. Kate, vowel, consonant, E, silent E. So mark those vowels up too, please. Locate. All right. Erase the second word and get ready for the third one. That word is going to be reprint. Reprint. If you write too sloppy on an assignment, I may ask you to reprint it. Reprint. Spell it first. Try to mark it up. All right, let's see how you did with spelling. Re is the prefix. You scooped it. How'd you spell it? R-E. Print. This one is not a root, is it? It's a, it's a base word. It's a standalone word. Spell print. Go. P-R-I-N-T. Good. Now, re is what kind of syllable? Open. Good. Print is what kind of syllable? Close with that short I. You could have marked, has a print has some blends in it, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. Erase the third word and get ready for word number four. The word is ooh, unlikely. There's a prefix un, base word like, suffix li. We have a lot going on here. It is unlikely to be 70 degrees anytime soon. <laughs> unlikely. Unlike. And then circle your suffix, li. All right, let's do the reveal. How'd you do with un? That's a prefix, U-N. How'd you do with like? L-I-K-E. And some friends might be confused and forget the rules. When you have a vowel-e word and you're attaching a suffix, as long as it's a consonant suffix, you don't have to drop the E and insert it, right? That rule only applies to vowel suffixes. Okay, how about un? Let's mark that up. It's closed syllable prefix. Okay, how'd you do? 
Yeah, so you keep that E in there. Even though it's silent, you keep it. You don't drop it and insert it because the suffix is a consonant suffix. All right, are you ready for the last word? Okay, here we go. In struct ing. Hmm, three parts. In is your prefix, struct. What is that? Word or root? Latin root. Instruct ing. It has a suffix. Let's go. In str. There's that three letter blend. We've been practicing those. Instruct. There's that blend again at the end. We practice that today a lot. In struct ing. Okay, let's see how you did with spelling. Spell the prefix in for me. Go. I N. Easy. Struct. A little harder. Go. S T R U C T. And then you know ing, I N G suffix. Hope you circled it. In is what kind? Closed syllable prefix. Struct is closed syllable. And look, you could do three letter blend. You could just do two letter blend. Mark those all up. Nice work. Okay, the last thing, the grand finale, we have one sentence today. I hope you remember the bonus unit trick words, Saturday and family. But one of those is going to be in this sentence. Here we go. You ready? You should not, hmm, start with a capital. You should not Right? You should not ooh, disrespect. That's one word. You should not disrespect. Stretch that one out. You should not disrespect your family. Family is a trick word that we've been practicing. You should know how to spell it, especially for the unit test. I'll read it one more time. You should not disrespect your family. Now think of that word disrespect. I hear, I see when I'm looking at it. Dis is a prefix we've been practicing. Re is a prefix. And spect is a Latin root. Okay, let's see how you did with spelling. How'd you do with should? That was a trick word, S-H-O-U-L-D. Hopefully you are getting better at these trick words. You should not, how'd you do with disrespect, C-T, your family, F-A-M-I-L-Y. All right, good. Hope you remembered punctuation at the end. And then the last thing we need to do is scoop it. So when I scoop mine, you know me, I always read it back to me myself quietly. You should not disrespect your family. You should not disrespect your family. I like it better with three. You should not. I think should and not should go together. <laughs> you should not disrespect, and then your family should be together for sure. I chose to do three. All right, third grade, that's all I have for you today. Next time we meet, we will see how you do on the unit test. Have a good one.